In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys every single next-gen VC glitch that you can use to make a lot of VC. Each one of these glitches are on my channel if you need a better explanation. Drop a like, man, drop a sub, turn on post notification, take advantage of these, of these glitches while you can, and I'm going to go ahead and get right into the video. Starting off with this first glitch, this is going to be the mock hair glitch that you want to do on your very best player to be able to do this glitch you do have to become a starter on your my career file and then you can also get a thousand vc each time that you do this glitch if you have a nba my career max contract you get that by winning finals mvp and winning the finals on your team however you don't have to do that you can do this glitch with any player that gets a contract marker salary so you want to go ahead and load your best player into the city once you guys load into the city you want to go ahead and press start and then you want to go over to your options go to your settings what I would recommend you guys do is you definitely want to put the quarter length on five minutes. The game difficulty is up to you and whatever you feel most comfortable doing. You do have to get up by 25 before the third quarter starts to make this glitch efficient. So keep that in mind. You can play on, you know, whatever you'd like because the higher difficulty you go, the more VC you get. So it's completely up to you. Next, you're gonna go over to your progression and then go down to your takeover. I would recommend that you put on sharp take if you can. Also put on accelerator as your perk if you can as well, because that will allow you to get takeover faster, allowing you to hit more shots. So yeah, man, after you guys have adjusted all your settings, all you wanna do is go ahead and load up your next my career game. Now once this game loads up, all you guys want to do is get up by 25 before the third quarter starts. As long as you are a starter, you'll be able to access them out with VC. Also keep in mind that most of the time you will get subbed out in the second quarter. So you just want to make sure that you get up by 25 as fast as possible. All right, so look, man, as long as you're at about 25 in the third quarter and you're a starter, you are able to ask the sim out with VC. And you guys can see we only played for eight minutes. We were subbed out for half of the second quarter, so you can really rack up your VC extremely fast if you spam this for as many games as you would like. So once you guys are in the third quarter, you want to go ahead and ask the sim out with VC. But yeah, man, you will get your VC for your marker salary, and you can get up to 1,000 VC each time that you do this glitch if you have a max contract. So for this next glitch, this is a Devin Booker VC glitch, and you wanna unlock this quest. It comes from the Fashion District Courting Callaway quest. This is the very first quest that you unlock once you become a starter in your my career. So what you wanna do is once you unlock this um, objective, you want to go ahead and press start and bring up your map and you want to make sure that you set your spawn point to this subway right here that you're seeing because that will make this glitch somewhat faster so you don't have to travel across the city as you spam this VC glitch. So yeah man, once you guys have done all that, you want to go ahead and walk up to the court where Devin Booker is at 
and you want to start this game up. Now look man, once this game starts up, all you guys want to do is what I do to get through this game as fast as possible. I shoot threes on offense and I let the AI score on defense. You basically just want to end this game as fast as possible. It's on part setting so it's still fairly easy to shoot. As long as you are able to time your jump shot, you should be able to hit most of your shots. So yeah man, you guys just want to get through this game as fast as possible and let the AI score on defense just to speed the game up. So once the game is over with, make sure you are paying attention. As soon as you see your VC load up, all you want to do is close out the application and then you want to go ahead and reload the game back up. If you guys reload the game back up, you can walk back over to the Devin Booker Court and you can repeat this glitch as many times as you would like. So for this next glitch, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the Black Top VC glitch. I'm also going to show you guys how you can spam this glitch to where you keep getting your VC for each game that you play because there is an additional step that you need to, to take to ensure you get your VC every single time. So what you want to do is you want to go to play now and then you want to go over to Black Top. You then want to hit 1v1. And then you want to right click or left click and bring up and change up your roster. Go to user created roster. And if you are on Xbox, I've already made a roster for you. Just go ahead and hit search, search by content name, and then type in my channel name, which is JR Way Too Cold. I've already made a roster for you. If you are on Xbox, if you want to use it or you can make your own, this roster is going to be best for this blacktop PC glitch. So once you guys do that, you can go ahead and equip it. If you're on PlayStation, just look for one that says Demigod Stephen Curry Blacktop VC glitch. You, see, you should see it and you'll be just fine with that one as well. So I go ahead and put my controller on the left hand side, put the game, game conditions all the way down as low as it'll go. And then if you're using my roster, go ahead and go to the Golden State Warriors. I made a Demigod Stephen Curry for this glitch. And then if you scroll all the way down, I've also made a really bad no attribute player short as possible for this glitch too so yeah man once you guys have done that you want to go ahead and hit advance once this game starts up all you basically want to do is get through this game as fast as possible what i do is i shoot threes on offense and then i let the ai score on defense as long as you time your jump shot right you'll be able to shoot all over the defender every single time and then i let the defender just go in for a layup every single time as well you just want to get through this game as fast as possible and make sure you shoot threes each position that you have So after this first game, you guys can see you can get through this game in about 30 to 45 seconds and you will get your VC. But remember, after two games, it will stop giving you your VC. So I am going to show you guys the additional stuff that you need to take that you need to do after every two games. But yeah, man, after your first game, you can go ahead and hit rematch.
After the second game, you'll also get your VC, but remember you had to do this step after every two games that you play or it will stop giving you your VC. So after your second game, go ahead and press the middle button on your controller, press on NBA 2K23, then you want to go down to manage games and add-ons. Once you guys do that, you want to go ahead and scroll down to save data, click A on your user profile, and then you want to hit delete from console. Do not delete from everywhere or you will lose all your players. Make sure our boys hit delete from console, then you want to go ahead and reel the game back up. Once you guys reload the game back up, go ahead and go back over to Blacktop and make sure you set your settings exactly the same way. Also, make sure that you reload your roster and you can spam this bitch as many times as you'd like. Just remember to clear your save data after every two games that you play. Next, I'll be showing y'all boys two different My NBA VC glitches that you can use. For this first one, what you want to do and these settings will apply to the second my nba glitch as well so what you want to do is go ahead go into my nba and then you want to go ahead and start a new my nba file once you guys do this you can choose any era that you would like but i would recommend that you guys choose the modern era Once you guys do this, it's going to also ask you to pick your NBA team. So you can pick any NBA team that you would like. Just make sure you remember which team to pick. You can also hit advance through this as well. Pick any NBA team that you would like. But like I said, just make sure you remember which team that you pick. And then you want to go ahead and hit advance. Once you guys get into the mod. Once you guys get to this screen right here, you can also hit continue. Then it's going to ask you about the draft class. Just make sure you hit auto generate rookies. It doesn't really matter. So once you guys get here, there's a couple of different settings that you want to change to ensure that you get the most VC possible. What you want to do is you want to go into your settings. First thing you want to do is go into front office and then hit roster. From here, press start for the quick edit mode. And then you want to scroll all the way over until you see all players. Once you guys get here, you just want to select A or X over the height to highlight the whole entire row, and then you want to make everyone as short as possible. And then you want to go over to the weight, and then you can put the weight all the way down as well. And if you really want to take it to the next level, you can also make everyone have zero attributes. But like I said, the height and weight should be just fine. Once you guys do that, that's why it's important that you guys remember which NBA team that you pick. You then want to scroll all the way over to the team that you pick. So I did the Chicago Bulls. From here, I want to make sure that everyone on my team is a bunch of seven foot seven demigods. And then you can up the weight as well. Also, if you really wanted to, you could you know make everyone on your team have max badges and attributes if you wanted to do that as well. So once you guys have adjusted that, you can go ahead and exit the quick edit mode and hit confirm changes. Next, you want to go ahead and go down into your options and then you want to go to your settings and then you can hit general. This part is very important. The first time that you do this glitch, you want to go ahead and set the quarter lane to 12 minutes. There is a 15 minute cooldown, meaning you cannot spam each time over and over again. Whenever you select your 12 minutes and you do this glitch for the first time, you want to set your timer for 15 minutes and then you want to go down to 11 minutes. 10 minutes and so on until the 15 minute timer goes off. Hopefully that makes sense. Once you guys have adjusted all of your settings, you then wanna go ahead and go to your next game. You then wanna hit simulate with Simcast and then you wanna go ahead and hit play game. Once somebody gets the tip off, you then want to go ahead and press start and then you want to go over to simcast and then you want to hit normal simcast. You then want to flick the, the simulation speed all the way up to the fastest and then you want to hit continue simulation. Just make sure you're paying attention on this part right here because you have to stop it once you get to the fourth quarter with 20 seconds or under left in the game. So you want to go ahead and hit continue simulation. But like I said, like I said, make sure you are paying attention because this does go by fast. What I'd like to do is once I get 
close to the fourth quarter with under like three minutes left, I go ahead and I put the simulation speed all the way down to slowest and then I hit continue simulation just so I don't miss it. So like I said, you wanna to get to the fourth quarter with like under 20 seconds left or so and then you wanna hit stop simulation. So just make sure you are paying attention on this part right here because you don't wanna miss this window. So you guys can see I'm under 20 seconds in the fourth quarter. You then want to go ahead and hit play game, jump in, press start, go over to simcast. Then you want to hit simcast log, press start again, go over to jump in, and then press start one more time. You then want to go to quit, and then you want to hit save and quit my NBA. Once you guys do this, go ahead and go back into my NBA and then load up the same file once again and you'll be placed back at the same save point so from here once you guys get loaded back in you just want to let the game run completely out Once the game is over with, you want to go ahead and hit quit. As long as you win the game, you will get 1100 BC. And these go by extremely fast. But remember, if you want to continue to spend this, this glitch, you want to go back into your options, go into your settings, set a timer for, for 15 minutes, and then you want to put the quarter length down to 11, and then 10, and then 9, 8, 7. You will get less VC for each time limit, but like I said, you have to wait 15 minutes in between each time limit or you won't get any VC. Now for this next My NBA glitch, this is an AFK VC glitch that you can use and make VC without even having to be at your console. So you wanna set the same exact settings as my last NBA glitch that I just showed you, but there's one thing that you wanna change. You wanna go into coaching and then you wanna go down to coach settings and all you want to do is put the timeout on manual just so this doesn't slow down your simulation. So once you guys have adjusted all of your settings, go ahead and select on your next game. And this time you want to hit simulate with Simcast Law. Once you guys get here, all you want to do is put the simulation speed all the way up to 6x and then you can literally walk away from your console. Also make sure that you set the time limit for 12 minutes. You can set it to whatever you'd like, but you make the most VC when it's on a 12 minute quarter game. So from here, you can literally do your homework, watch a movie, go at AFK, whatever the case may be, and you'll make VC without having to be at your console. Just make sure you check on this every so often because you do have to reset it for each game once this game is over with. So yeah, man, now you just wanna let the game run completely out. All right, so once the game is over with, if you go ahead and hit and quit out, you will see that you will get your VC for doing absolutely nothing. And you can spend this glitch over and over again by selecting on different games. And you can go AFK as the simulation is going through. All right, so look, man, the last two ways that you guys can get VC on this game is make sure that you guys are doing your daily spin. This doesn't give you a whole lot of VC, but if you get VC from this and you spend it every single day, it does add up. You guys can see I got 500 VC right there, which isn't a whole lot on this game, but like I said, it does add up if you do this wheel every single day. Also, make sure that if you guys can, that you're doing your quest. You can do all of your main quests and you can also do the side quest as well. And a lot of these will give you VC, such as, you know, the one for shoes or your Nike endorsement deal or whatever the case may be. Make sure you're trying to do all of your quests because these will give you your VC. The very last thing that you guys want to do is make sure that you're doing the daily pick them. You guys go over here and go to this machine. You can pick whatever teams you think will win for that day. And this will also give you VC as well. And like I said, all these are going to add up, especially if you take advantage of it every single day. So yeah, man, y'all boys drop a like, drop a sub, turn on post notifications. We out. Peace.